to all Something in my life has changed we're going to do a dry run for the Toronto show, which is a, a really big festival, international festival of bands, um, some signed, some unsigned artists, to uh, showcase and uh, meet with people in the industry and hopefully further their cause and, uh, and treat it kind of special. For me, prior to, to getting together with Alan, um, I'd been working, as I said, in a sort of solo vein, and it was very esoteric, uh, very electronic and, and, and beat oriented. As soon as we, we, we got together, I realized that was the sort of the, different, the pieces I was missing, and then I, I brought the stuff to the table that he didn't have, right, right. and it just all melted. Right. And, and between the two of us, we had pretty much everything we needed to, to, to do this. Absolutely. I sing. Uh, I play guitar on many of the tracks, uh, played bass on one of the tracks, or part of one of the tracks, <laughs> and, uh, and I write, and I write a lot of this stuff as well, so. We brought in an uh, excellent uh, instrumentalist uh, named Rex Espinosa, who plays oh, yeah. a combination of guitar and keyboards. We kind of a couple of drummers we worked through before we finally got to the drummer that we have, right. is Joe Bianco. John Mastro is our yeah. guitar player that plays very good instrumentalist. Their ability to interpret songs and to add a, a, their own sort of stamp on, on their musicianship. And we got a great unit now. How long have we been playing live for? About a year, two, year and a half. half. I've been playing with Alan for, oh God, it, it must be five years now. And we played at the Elbow Room a few weeks ago. We were able to just relax and, and, and not force things and just be ourselves. I know Rex from playing with another band and Rex kind of mentioned it to me like, hey, you know, would you be interested? And I just hooked up with him, started playing and, you know, just had the best time. It was a real easy decision. Like a day later, I'm like, yeah, Rex, I'll play, you know, whenever you guys want. I'm hoping, you know, we do get put on a good show. The fun part is we're bringing a bunch of friends too, so. I'm looking forward to the ride out there, actually. It should be pretty fun. I've yeah. never been out there, so kind of check out Toronto, see what it's all about, take it in, and you know, enjoy the performance. This has been a fun weekend for us. Actually, we got in last night and went to, uh, where did we go? To the Eden Center. And um, I'm on my quest to try, in every country I go to, I'm going to try McDonald's. And I'm doing my own taste test. <laughs> and I had McDonald's in Canada's right up there. It's right up there. I hope that we can keep going and, and making more music. Um, I hope that uh, we can continue, continually progress to really cool shows like this. I hope that someone else will run the shows for us. And the new album, and we're doing some stuff and laying down some tracks. It's going really well. I'm really excited about the new songs. It sounds really good. Man. I would describe Silver Atlas as um, um, is extremely eclectic. I mean, we all come from different backgrounds and have different uh, kind of ideas of uh, of how to make music. This is the best band that I've been in. And as far as the future, I hope we can keep going and keep playing and uh, just keep kicking ass.
things go down Thanks a lot, everyone. Cheers. We'll see you next time around.